beryllium is a unusual and somewhat rare material, metal, which according to Wikipedia uh, is produced when cosmic radiation strikes oxygen and nitrogen in the atmosphere. And it, it rains down on the earth in the form of dust, which is deposited on the surface of the earth and on the surface of snow, by the way. On the surface of snow. The accumulation of beryllium on the surface of the earth and the surface of snow corresponds with solar activity because solar activity blocks some of this cosmic radiation so that less beryllium is produced. This is the basis of um, a theory which I find very plausible. This is a chart. Um, it, it, it's um, beryllium concentration uh, measured in snow from ice cores. And the numbers at the bottom correspond with years. And on the far right is the year 2000. That's where we are today. And you see there was a, um, a spike in uh, beryllium concentrations just before or around the year 1700. The scientist minimizes the importance and the significance of decades of increased solar activity by saying that a solar maximum only contributes one-tenth of a degree Celsius of temperature. We are not talking about one solar maximum. We are talking about decade after decade after decade of increased solar activity. Water has what is known as specific heat, meaning that it warms slowly and retains that heat, radiates the heat slowly, in contrast to, for example, a piece of steel which heats fast and cools fast. Water heats slowly and cools slowly. When you have, and the Earth, the Earth is not only, the Earth's surface is not only mainly ocean. The Earth's atmosphere contains a lot of water vapor. It appears to me that this scientist is displaying a blatant and ugly and stupid and unscientific and unprofessional bias. Reasons why.